ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه وازواجه امهات المؤمنين وعلى من اتبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته And I welcome you uh, to our uh, uh, Tuesday edition, uh, Worship Your Lord. Uh, Aqeedah, uh, the belief system of a Muslim. And uh, I have good news for you. Alhamdulillah, we uh, were done with the editing of the Know Your Lord second edition. Uh, almost uh, 320 pages, brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, a very uh, good material uh, for da'wah, uh, especially if you want to engage uh, in calling Christian and Jews to Islam, uh, would be a good uh, material to have bi uh, ta'ala. The book will be published soon, uh, very soon, uh, insha'Allah. So uh, this book will become uh, the subject of uh, the class which actually I'm going to start right after the show like right after the show uh, today uh, which is at 6 o'clock uh, I will start uh, teaching uh, Know Your Lord uh, but this is only for uh, people who signed up so this is not going to be like something uh, you know uh, public uh, so only people who signed up for this uh, will have access so if you have not signed up and you wish to sign up uh, just send an email to info at our cmcc uh, dot org uh, inshallah to uh, have a chance to uh, join uh, me as I teach uh, know your lord uh, uh, for students uh, who will receive ijazah at the end and, and all of that inshallah uh, I'm trying to find out the, uh, uh, the poster uh, for this uh, class, uh, I think it should be somewhere here. Uh, let me see here if we can find it. Uh, but inshallah, uh, this class will begin today uh, at six o'clock, which is in a half hour from now. So I'm I'm gonna finish up uh, the broadcast here, and right away uh, I will turn on to uh, the Zoom meeting. Uh, please send. Uh, if you're interested, send uh, uh, an email to info at our cmcc.org. If I can ask uh, my admin to uh, kindly uh, post that uh, on uh, the chat or uh, so people can send the email, we'll send you the link. We know that you're interested and we'll send you the link and you can sign up later, uh, inshallah, bi idnillahi ta'ala. Uh, there will be a placement test, uh, so which uh, I will introduce you to today uh, and uh, make you ready for it. And then you're going to take it uh, maybe not this week, the, the following week, uh, insha'Allah ta'ala. But this is what we have in mind for you. Uh, if you are interested, uh, ta'ala. Uh, again, let me just uh, provide that email on the broadcast so this way. Uh, you have no reason not to uh, join if you're interested. Info uh, at our uh, cmcc.org uh, right here. That's the email. If you send an email right now uh, that you want to join this class, it's it's going to be every Tuesday at 6 o'clock uh, Mountain Standard Time. Uh, we'll send you the Zoom link. Uh, and later on you can sign up, inshallah. We, we, you don't have to uh, uh, bother uh, right now about signing up uh, uh, Today brothers and uh, sisters in Islam I would like to uh, explore uh, uh, a very interesting uh, subject which in my opinion uh, you know related to the khutbah uh, which I delivered last 
uh, Friday. That subject is uh, traveling back uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Traveling back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, brothers and sisters in Islam in, in, in general, uh, going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a distance which we uh, uh, simply uh, cover with the heart. So the heart is the uh, uh, limb uh, which we use uh, to cover uh, the distance which we uh, make uh, going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يقول ابن القيم رحمه الله السفر إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى traveling back to Allah سبحانه وتعالى is something which you do with your heart a distance which you do with your heart not literally traveling is is like an engine the engine for the trip is the heart. Uh, that is why the heart has to be sound. So for you to, to travel, the heart has to be uh, sound. If it is not sound, there is no way you're going to travel. You're going to, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the journey is not going to be uh, possible. Uh, also, brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, the, uh, uh, there are three enemies who try to prevent you from traveling okay pay attention here because you, you're really gonna love that you know uh, uh, we said that uh, you know we all are traveling back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, th th there is a destination which is meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we agree to that طيب, uh, I should provide an evidence for that قول الله تعالى يا أيها الإنسان إنك كادح إلى ربك كدحا فملاقي أو mankind you are in a state of كدح back to Allah سبحانه وتعالى and you shall meet Allah سبحانه وتعالى so that's a verse in سورة الانشقاء يا أيها الإنسان إنك كادح إلى ربك كدحا فملاقي أو mankind you are in a state of uh, constant travel back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will not stop until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but that's an evidence also the other evidence hadith Adi ibn Hatim radiyallahu anhu the hadith fi sahihain the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that ma minkum min ahadin illa wa sayukallimuhu rabbuhu ليس بينه وبينه ترجمان فينظر أيمن منه فلا يرى إلا ما قدم وينظر أش so this is the class brothers and sisters in Islam صلاح الدين future academy it's under the academy إن شاء الله which I'm gonna be teaching know your Lord the book is gonna be know your Lord which is الحمد لله finished today is gonna be ready you know we we just have to do our final touches in it uh, we're gonna start today uh, but this is the flyer that we wanted to share with you uh, and the book is Know Your Lord the book is Know uh, Your Lord which is what we're planning to use we'll go back to the subject so you agree that we're traveling back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, I mentioned the evidence right the evidence is uh, uh, the verse in Surah Al-Inshiqaq Ya ayyuha al-insanu innaka kadihun ila rabbika kadihan famulaqi So this is one uh, The second evidence Hadith Adi ibn Hatim radiyallahu anhu uh, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said uh, Ma minkum min ahadin illa wasa yukallimuhu rabbuhu laysa baynahu wa baynahu turjuman فينظر أيمن منه فلا يرى إلا ما قدم وينظر أشأم منه فلا يرى إلا ما قدم وينظر بين يديه فلا يرى إلا النار فاتقوا النار ولو بشق تمر. There is none of you but Allah will speak to one on one without a translator in between you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Also without a veil Separating you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
and you're going to look to your right and you're going to see what uh, you have done in this world uh, recorded in a book and you're going to look look to your left and you're going to see what you have done in this world uh, recorded the evil of course the good in, in the right the evil in the, in the in the left and in front of you you're going to see the hellfire uh, uh, the Prophet then said فَاتَّقُوا النَّارَ وَلَوْ بِشِقِّ تَمْرَةِ Then uh, protect yourselves from the hellfire even with the uh, half a date in charity. So hopefully you see the flyer now. If you're interested, uh, that class is going to begin right after the uh, broadcast, after the stream. Uh, send an email, info at ourcmcc.org. I will... Uh, send you the Zoom meeting and later on we can instruct you on how to sign inshallah info at our cmcc.org send an email right now if you wish to join this class I'm going to be teaching my book Know Your Lord which is a second edition uh, which is uh, really out now alhamdulillah which is really good be in the so we agreed that we're traveling back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now how do we travel with the heart the limb this distance back to Allah is covered with the heart. Oh, uh, now for the heart to travel, to be able uh, to become uh, the means to get you to Allah, it has to be sound. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ uh, A day, that's the day of the meeting, uh, money is not going to help you travel. Your children are not going to help you travel. The only thing which will help you travel that you bring a sound heart with you. <laughs> you see that? وَلَا يَسْلَمُ الْقَلْبُ Now, how do you keep your heart sound? You must protect it from ignorance which contradict knowledge. You must, count, you must protect your heart from shirk which contradict tawheed. You must protect your heart from bid'ah innovation which contradict sunnah following the sunnah you must protect your heart from whims and desires which contradict obedience and you must protect your heart from heedlessness which contradict the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so those are five um, five knowledge means your heart has to be emptied out from ignorance. Tawheed, your heart has to be emptied out from shirk. Sunnah, your heart has to be emptied out from bid'ah. Uh, uh, obedience, compliance, adherence, submission, your heart has to be emptied out from whims and desires. Finally, is heedlessness il ghafla your heart has to be filled with dhikr with the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this these are the five uh, again i'm gonna uh, break this down for you hang in there we're gonna break this down for you so first we're traveling back to allah how do we travel with the heart not the medical heart too <laughs> don't, don't think that we're talking about the medical heart the physical heart, no, the spiritual heart. Now, for the heart to become a means to travel, you must have a sound one. How do you keep your heart sound? Protected from ignorance. Protected from shirk. Protected from bid'ah. Protected from whims and desires. Protected from heedlessness. Five, oh, five, five. Now, remember, on the road, imagine now you're going to travel with your heart, imagine visualize a road. You're going to be traveling on the road, the Salat al-Mustaqeem. 
there are enemies who are standing by the side do not want you to travel they want to stop you they want to stop you they don't want you to they don't want to number one your nafs your own nafs the evil side of the nafs why because the nafs the human soul likes now i want now i don't want to wait until i meet allah i, I don't want to wait the nafs likes to get pleasured now get the share now oh. for your nafs two the human jinni the human shaitan a bad company someone you hang around with and they do not want you to go into the path of religion because they will lose you you will understand that they are misguided and they will be no longer uh, uh, you know yours anymore yours anymore number three is the shaitan the devil whether the shaitan al uh, uh, a small shaitan or the big guy comes to you <laughs> you know sometimes when when, when shaitan doesn't uh, uh, he sends his his small uh, jinni and they do not get the job done he comes to take care of you Fa those three are standing and they have arrows they have arrows and they are trying to target your heart they are trying to archer shoot your heart to stop your heart from traveling that is why you have Allah place this heart inside a chest so it is protected قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ إِلَهِ النَّاسِ مِنْ شَرِّ الْوَسْوَاسِ الْخَنَّاسِ أَلَّذِي يُوَسْوِسُ فِي صُدُورِ You see, Alhamdulillah, Allah did not give these three enemies direct access to your heart they have to go through the chest and another layer called the fuad uh, called the sadr thumma al fuad i think and then a loop like to, to get to the loop no no okay let me recap again because i i really want to build up on this we're traveling back to allah i provided the evidence surah al-inshiqaq يا أيها الإنسان إنك كادح إلى ربك كادحا فملاقي. You are in a state of constant travel back to Allah. And also حديث عدي بن حاتم في الصحيح عدي بن حاتم عدي ابن حاتم رضي الله عنه في الصحيحين. الحمد لله. Now how do you travel with the heart? This distance is to be covered with the heart. Now, I'm not talking about the medical heart. I'm talking about the spiritual heart. Now, for the heart to travel, it has to be sound. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونٌ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ The day on which uh, 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 wealth and uh, 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 children are not going to benefit you, the only way that you're going to be benefited is if you come to Allah with a sound heart. So hopefully, guys, you see that flyer right after the show in 20 minutes. If you send an email to info at our CMCC, inshallah, you will get a private session with the rest of the students uh, learning that book. I will be teaching my book, Know Your Lord, inshallah, uh, which is Tawheed Al-Asma' wa Sifat wa Tawheed al inshallah. So send an email, info at our CMCC.org, and right after the show, I will send you a link and you can join us and we can figure out how to register inshallah that is what this flyer is for let me just keep it tiny place here so i'm not distracting you uh, okay here you go all right now for the heart to be sound 
Avoid ignorance, meaning fill it with knowledge. Avoid shirk, fill it with tawheed. Avoid bid'ah, fill it with sunnah. Avoid uh, whims and desires, fill it with compliance. Fill it with uh, submission. Fill it with adherence. And uh, you have to avoid heedlessness. That you don't know that whether you're traveling to Allah. Well, you don't know why you created. Some people in this world, they don't really know until now why did Allah create them. Why did Allah create them in the first place until now? They don't know. Ghafla, state of heedlessness. They hardly to remember. Fill your life with dhikr. Dhikrullah. And, and we do not mean dhikr here, the dancing dhikr. La, we mean what? Salah, fasting, enjoining good, forbidding evil, recitation of the Quran, al adhkar al muwaddafa the designated uh, adhkar for certain actions you do before you eat, before you drink, before you enter the house, before you exit the house, before you, and, and, and so forth. All of that. All of that. Tayyib. Uh, these are the five things in order to make sure that the heart is sound because if you don't have the sound heart you're never going to be traveling your car is, is like having a car that is broken you have to take it to the uh, uh, to the uh, mechanic to fix it <laughs> so you have to fix the heart in order to travel now the last thing that you need to remember that along the road, اِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ You see, this sirat that you're asking Allah to guide you is extended until what? The akhirah. Subhanallah. You walk on the sirat in the dunya, also in akhirah you're going to walk on a sirat, on a bridge to Jannah. To Jannah. Huh? But on that road, there are enemies. People who do not want you to travel. First, your nafs, you. There is a side of you who do not want this to happen. This is the nafs. Why? Because the nafs, your nafs, likes now. In nafs is wanting you to... Because we like now. I want now. I don't want to wait until I meet Allah and go to Jannah. No, I want now. No. Then the human shaytan, shayatin shayatinu al-ins, a bad friend, like Abu Jahl, kida ma Abu Talib, like Abu Jahl, what did Abu Jahl do to Abu Talib? Got him in trouble. And the jinni, the shaytan al-jinn, and if, if he doesn't do the job, then the big shaytan will come to take care of you, if you're, if you're a, a big guy. So far we're good. Now, here's the one thing that I want to add, and probably I'm going to yani, uh, take some time to explain it, because I want to start from there next week, inshallah. Uh, is, imagine you're, you're traveling from Colorado to New York. You're going to take I-70 East, I think that's whatever it is, I-70 North, whatever just hypothetical, okay? But I remember that I-70, I drove one time that distance. So, now, along the way, there are stops that you have to stop by in order to continue traveling. One stop, you need gas. Because if you don't have gas in the car, one stop, you need food. One stop, you need the bathroom. Likewise, brothers and sisters in Islam, in your way back to Allah, you have to stop at a certain place to do something. This is what Ibn al-Qayyim called it, مدارج السالكين إلى رب العالمين. You see, I'm, I'm explaining المدارج, the, the, the steps or the positions or the stations which we have stopped by in our way to Allah. Like for example, if you committed a sin, now you're traveling back to Allah and you committed a sin. 
for you to continue traveling can you continue traveling with that sin no you have to stop to make what tawbah <laughs> okay i gotta make tawbah i can't i can't continue traveling my my trip is 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 is, is, is because the heart is what that they managed to shoot you remember they managed to get you down so you have to stop to make what tawbah طيب um, you know what I'm, 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 I'm beginning to despair اللي هو اليأس I'm beginning to, to, to feel so much that uh, I'm no longer uh, thinking about Allah's mercy stop study the attributes of mercy of Allah you have to stop there زود الرجاء عندك increase the رجاء increase the hope طيب uh, I'm having too much hope now that I think Allah is going to forgive me regardless Oh stop That's dangerous Increase the fear You're getting that You're getting that We, we call these stations stops along the way You know when you drive in the highway You see like every 2-3 miles you see these signs You have food You have gas You have bathroom You have McDonald's Halal McDonald's hopefully You have restaurants now you get to choose. Likewise, in your way to Allah, you must stop because if you don't stop, there is something wrong here. Brothers and sisters in Islam. Ah, oh, man, if you guys understood this, I will enjoy this because I don't want to talk to myself here. So, can I recap this again one more time? Before I want to talk about the first stop that we have to make. Can you guys just type something letting me know that I make sense to you? That I'm not in my own little world here? You know, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> when you speak like like that, some people assume that you're, uh, you know, uh, uh, can can we get some, some feedback? Do you guys understand so far? Should we carry on with this uh, session or, or should we just uh, uh, switch something else? Uh, any comments? Okay, we got Dean, uh, we got Karma Kamran, Alhamdulillah, yes, Sheikh. Okay, that's good news. We got Jahis, that is, yes, I understand. Okay, uh, we got Zu, carry on, inshallah. Okay, so that's a good sign. I'm gonna get, recap quickly because at the beginning, I want you to understand where I'm going with this. You see, now. We're going to spend time talking about these stations, these stops. So first, we're all traveling back to Allah. We're all traveling back to Allah. But some people are going to be taken and some people are traveling now, getting ready for the journey. Now, how do we travel with the spiritual heart? For the heart, to help you travel, to be ready to travel, it must be sound. Huh. What are the five areas? What? Knowledge, Tawheed, Sunnah, Adherence, Remembrance, Dhikr. These five have other five. You see, when you have these five in the heart, the other five are automatically uh, 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 removed, emptied out, and this is what they meant by uh, occupy yourself with the truth, otherwise, yourself will occupy you with falsehood. If you don't occupy yourself with seeking knowledge, ignorance will be the thing that hunts you down. If you don't occupy yourself with tawheed, shirk will hunt you down. If you don't occupy yourself with the sunnah. Bid'ah will hunt you down. If you don't occupy yourself with the adherence, the obedience, the compliance, I hear and I obey, whims and desires will hunt you down. If you don't occupy yourself with the remembrance of Allah, heedlessness will hunt you down. And this is the only way to have a sound heart. Now, remember along the way, you're going to have enemies. Three enemies. Remember those. Three enemies. Your nafs, shaitanul ins, shaitanul jinn. Your nafs, shaitanul ins, shaitanul jinn. Three of them. 
They want to distract you. Now, for you also to travel, you must have certain stops. You must make stops along the way. Because, listen, we all have issues. We, the insan, da'if. The human is weak. He falls into sins. So, he falls into flaws, into defects. Now, these stations along the way must uh, uh, be out there. The station that you must have to keep going is Manzilatul Mahabba, that you love Allah. You must develop that love for Allah. You must have that love for Allah. Ibn al Qayyim said, Al Hubbu Hadi. The, uh, loving Allah uh, is like the campus. It directs you, like the Qibla. You know, like the Qibla. Like when you have a campus in the desert, you know, it keeps it, okay, I gotta go this way. This is, this is the path of Allah. Al-Mahabba. But be careful. Some people worship Allah with Al-Mahabba. They are in trouble. Christians. They worship Allah only with, with grace, with love, with mahabba. You go like Allah mahabba. Imagine this. Let them to develop and formulate a belief that Allah killed himself for their, for their sins. Imagine that. Imagine Allah loves them so much that he comes down from the throne and allow them to... Well, this is blasphemous to say that. And he allows them to, uh, to uh, uh, crucify him for their sins. Of course, there is a formula there. I don't want to go into the details, but this is out of the love. Uh, we have also Muslims who, uh, you know, do the same thing. In Allah Ghafurur Rahim, Allah is forgiving, merciful. You, you, you know, you're likewise. You're getting that. But love is a key. That is the first station that you must have. Is to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, Ibn al-Qayyim produced 10 signs that you love Allah. Because everybody, if you ask anybody, do you love, do you love Allah? He will say yes. The, it, nobody will say no at all. No one will say no at all. طيب, what are the signs? 10 signs. And I'm going to talk about those next week, inshallah. But love alone is not sufficient. You must have two wings also. Fear and hope. You must fear Allah, but fear which does not send you to despair. But the fear which keeps you going. When you commit a sin, I fear Allah is punishment, then I go and repent, and so forth. Then with the fear, there is another wing called hope. That you hope. Anas ibn Malik, radiyallahu anhu, said, دخل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم على شاب وهو يحتضر. The Prophet, the Hadith في سنن الإمام الترمذي بسند صحيح that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم entered into a house where there is a man, a young man, a youth who is passing away. He was going through the agonies of death. فقال له the Prophet asked him كيف تجدك? How are you? He said والله يا رسول الله he said, by Allah, O Messenger of Allah, أرجو الله وأخاف ذنوبي. أرجو الله وأخاف ذنوبي. My hope is in Allah. Allah is forgiveness. Allah is mercy. Imagine he's dying. And I'm afraid of my sins. 
So the fear is of the consequences of the sins. But the hope is not in what you did. La. The hope in who? In Allah. Be careful. Don't place too much hope in what you do. Because you don't know whether it was accepted or, were, or were, there was a defect there. Right? Uh, so, brothers and, and, and sisters in Islam, the Prophet وسلم, said to him, Wallahi, by Allah, Absher, I want to give you the glad tidings. By Allah, uh, those two will not be present in a heart of a Muslim who is dying. Except Allah will give him what he hoped for, which is Allah's forgiveness, and he will save him from what he fears. You see that? <laughs> Imagine you're traveling like that. Insha'Allah, this is an initial. I'm going to call these series Sharh uh, al Madarij, you know, the Madarij al Salikin, Lirabbil Alameen. We're explaining Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in, insha'Allah. So, we're going to talk about Manzilat al Mahabba, then Manzilat al Khawf, then Manzilat al Raja, the station of love, the station of fear, the station of hope. Then we're going to talk about other stations, insha'Allah, as we go, bi'idhnillahi uh, ta'ala. Some scholars, brothers and sisters in Islam, name the thousand. Some name the hundred. Uh, insha'Allah, we're going to just maybe uh, pick and choose. And uh, I want to let you know that this is all depending on your condition. Your condition, insha'Allah. Uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, I have to sign off now. Uh, and please, if you are interested, join me. I will uh, be going to uh, my Zoom uh, room. Uh, I'm going to start this class. This is the first day today. If you have not signed up, there is no problem. Just go ahead and uh, uh, send an email to info at ourcmcc.org. I will send you a Zoom link. And we can go ahead and register, inshallah, be delighted to allow you. And uh, today is like an introductory to the course. Uh, Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters in Islam were able to complete the book. Uh, the book is going to be out, uh, is edited, Alhamdulillah, but now is the publishing and this is maybe another week or 10 days. Uh, so it should be ready and this is where I'm going to be teaching, inshallah. Jazakumullahu uh, khayra, subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka. والحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته